Everyone, I have something to say. Okay. What's your proclamation? Huh? I want to explain to everyone why I was trying to assassinate the Chosen. Oh, please fill us in. All right, we're listening. Tell us about your homeland. A land that doesn't exist in this world. You knew? Wait, you knew? No, but you said it yourself that Silveront will be saved. That must mean you aren't from Silveront. Yeah. You know, it's really a shame that your intellect's being wasted here. You're right. My homeland is not here. Not in Silveron. What does that mean? Yes, what does that mean? My world is called Tetheala. Huh. Tetheala? You mean the moon? Wait, you live on the moon? You're a Martian? <laughs> no, that's Mars. <laughs> of course Mars. not. My world isn't on the moon. Even I really don't understand the specifics. Oh. But there's the another world that lies entwined with Silveron. A shadow is to light. Right, that's yin, Tethiala. yang, that My sort of stuff. Two entwined worlds? The two worlds lie directly adjacent to each other. They just can't see one another. Uh -huh. Our scholars say they exist on shifted dimensions. Anyway, the two worlds can't see or touch each other. Then how'd you get here? But they do, in fact, exist next to and affect each other. So is it like what an alternate dimension or something? They vie for the supply of mana. When one world weakens, the mana from that world flows to the other. Uh -huh. As a result, one world is always flourishing and the other waning. Sort of like an hourglass. That sucks. Wait. So right now, Silverond is... Yeah. Silverond's mana is flowing to Tetheala. Therefore, Silverond is in decline. Oh, well, that's not good. Without mana, crops won't grow and magic becomes unusable. If there's no mana, the summon spirits that protect the world alongside the goddess Martel... ...can't survive in Silverond either. As a result, the world slips even further down the path of destruction. Then the Chosen's world regeneration is actually the process of reversing the mana flow? Exactly. When the Chosen breaks the seal, the mana flow reverses and the summon spirit that governs the seal awakens. Right. I was sent to prevent the world regeneration from happening. Well, I kind of, I think we all saw I that. I broke through the supposedly impassable dimensional fissure for the sake of protecting Tetheala. Okay, are you still planning on doing that? Or what? In other words, to assure the decline and destruction of Silveron? You can say that, but your journey of regeneration is also an attempt to destroy Tetheala. We're both doing the same thing. Great, we're both trying to destroy it's each hard other for me indirectly. To all of this. Well, you're a scholar. You should be able to understand this better than any of us. I'm the proof. I possess summoning arcs that have been lost from this world. Please don't look at me like that, Colette. I know that wasn't your intention. I don't know what I should do either. I came here to protect Tetheala, but this world is impoverished and everyone is suffering. That is true. But if I allow the world regeneration to occur, then Tethiala will become just like this. chilling there, not staring at anyone. It's like he's asleep. But right now you're helping us, right? Yes, but well, that yes doesn't mean I can just abandon Tethiala. What Tethiala? a strange angle to show Kratos I, from I behind. I don't know what to do. Makes it look like he's Isn't not there listening. Is there any other way? A way for Silveron, Tethiala, and Colette to all be happy? I, I, know I wonder. Have you considered that perhaps nothing that convenient exists in the real world? First thing we can do right now is to oh, save so Silver from its That's current good. crisis. What if we don't regenerate the world and just defeat the Desaiyans? Although we succeeded in destroying a ranch, we cannot possibly eliminate all the Desaiyans. And the mana will eventually be It's exhausted. like the Nazis, right? Is you mana think you got really all that important? And yet there's still some hovering around. I suppose only magic and users and scholars Nazis. worry about it. And all that junk. But mana what is even, even more important about to life than water. 
Without it, the land will die. Mana is the source material which composes everything. At least that's what I've been taught. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, the giant tree of ever-flowing mana in fairy tales doesn't exist in the real world. That sucks. We live by chipping away at the limited amount of available mana. Why do you think the ancient magi technology was lost? Because know. mana disappeared from the world. Right. Correct. Magi technology consumes large amounts of mana. If things continue the way they are now, Silverant will eventually lose its mana, just as it lost its magi technology and be destroyed. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Colette? R. E. M. I? Ah, you're trying to spell something, right? Okay, I'll I hate this thing. try game. asking Remiel if there's a way to save the two worlds. If it doesn't work out, I may have to kill you after all. Oh, just the what? Sheena! When that time comes, I may fight back because I love Silverbront too. I understand. You intend to become an angel no matter what, don't you? Alright, well, that was fun. Well, let's go to Haima again. Hopefully without me running into another half a dozen fights. And see where we're going to get this unicorn horn. So I'll... meet you there. A shell bottle? What? What the hell is that? What's it got in a shell bottle? Oh, that. Okay. How did you know I could get that this early? Whatever. Like I said, to Haima. I'll see you there. Well, Genus learned a uh, new move. Uh, he learned Thunderblade. That's nice. Uh,. I don't feel like showing you guys it, though. You'll see it eventually, trust me. And whenever Colette does anything, since she's mute, she doesn't say anything, which is nice. They actually stick to that. That's true, but maybe we can ask them and they might know. Or I might have to do a little bit of exploring, which I can do. I have nothing against exploring. I have an itch. There we go. 